you like to say about this particular side here? Uh, police are particularly uh, disappointed with the um, response uh, with this fixed speed camera. There's been nearly 37,000 tickets or, or 37,000 detections, I should say, that have uh, occurred here since the 2nd of August when it became live. Uh, it was set up on road crash data. There was uh, nearly 26 uh, accidents in this area. Uh, 20 people end up in hospital as a result. Uh, people continue to speed. The highest speed through this area has been uh, 224 kilometres an hour during that point in time. Uh, we just urge people to, to please take it easy, to slow up, to drive within the speed limit, to make sure that they're wearing their seat belts, they're driving alcohol free, that they're uh, making sure that they get plenty of rest. And I think it's, it's probably crucial at this point in time with the uh, end of the school holidays that uh, people take those sorts of cautions they plan ahead and they make sure that they don't take risks, that they don't put other people at risk. So if they could just drive safely. How many accidents have been here since that camera went up? Uh, I, don't, I can't tell you those statistics. Those statistics will be available some other time, I imagine, but I can't tell you. Any fatalities that you're aware of? There's been 20, uh, there's only been the, uh, the 20 hospitalisations. To my knowledge, there's no fatalities ever raised. So are they working that way? Sorry? Are they working in that element? That oh, that will be. They will be certainly looking at that forms part of the road crash data, of course. Those uh, 26 accidents, over what time period? That was over a 12-month period, to my knowledge, uh, well, sort of leading up to the installation of those cameras. Do you think it shows that maybe the cameras aren't working as well as we'd like them to? Uh, I think um, we've had good uh, statistics in Queensland over the last 12 months, and we continue with road crashes, so they seem to be working in that there seems to be uh, less road fatalities. However, uh, there are certainly people who are still speeding way over the speed limit. Are there less speeders since this started? Since uh, this camera? I wouldn't say that there's less speeders because we've got more detection devices in place. So we're detecting more people because we've got more devices out there. There's been criticism that you can't actually tell where that camera is and perhaps that's why people are still speeding through this mode. Lines on the road leading up to that. Is there a reason for that? Uh, the, the new devices don't require the lines. The old devices require that we had lines across the road, and that's why we don't have them with these new devices. Uh, my understanding is that there is signage connected with these uh, uh, fixed cameras, uh, so people are just going to be have their eyes out and keep looking for them. So. There must be. Uh, Uh, it's something that I'm sure that, that will be in, being considered, I'd say. You must be happy with the revenue from it, though. Uh, the revenue is not an aspect for me at all. Uh, in fact, I think there'd be nothing to make police happier than that we took down the fixed cameras because there was no revenue coming from them or no more detections. But uh, it's just part of the process, isn't it?